His Excellency the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana. Togwe Street Etola. Novinye Anlowo Egba Meva Domia Dome. We have landed on Anlo soil today at the gracious invitation of my brother Awomefia to join him and his elders to celebrate the historic Obechocho festival. Yeah. We have come to Anloga with joy and happiness. Yeah. This is the first time the occupant of the Golden Stew has set foot on Anlo soil in the modern era and we are pleased to come to underscore the value and importance we place on us and our presence here is also a tribute to my brother the Awomefia for his visionary leadership since he succeeded to the sacred stool of his forefathers. We have watched with admiration the unwavering commitment of Togre Street III, not just to the welfare of his people, but to the preservation of peace and the unity of our country. Understandably, his primary focus is on the social and economic advancement of his people. But he brings to the table a unique recognition, a unique recognition of the reality that achieving the goal of social and economic advancement is contingent upon the preservation of peace in the nation and harmonious relations amongst neighbors. That is why traditional leaders of this nation, as the guardians, traditional leaders of this nation are the guardians of our heritage face an obligation to place peace building the sustenance of the unity and the protection of the territorial integrity of the nation are the zenith of all considerations. I'm aware that Awomefia's appreciation of this obligation and his commitment to his delivery has been a factor of no small value about four years ago, Tobe Sri III, Aomefia, this has the honor of accepting our invitation to be our guest in Kumase. The visit enabled us to shine the light on the historic Asante and Aloe and Law Alliance of 1869. Today we have come to Anloga not just to reciprocate the visit of Tobe Sri III, but even more importantly, to declare to the nation and to the world that Asante and Anlo solidarity in spirit and letter to the alliance consecrated by our forefathers over 170, 80 years ago. To mark the reaffirmation, I hope you will establish a machinery for the celebration of Ashanti and Law solidarity in years ahead. Of course, I'm not unmindful of the fact that the complexities and vagaries of modern politics have cast an often uncomfortable shadow over our relations. It is undeniable that our people have become associated with differences in political choices to an extent that that has injected some unwarranted mistrust and compromised the brotherly harmony conceived by our forefathers. It cannot be our role to question the political choices people make in our modern democracy. But I'm sure we can all agree that it is patently wrong to deduce from the differences in political choices or religious beliefs the existence of any inherent animosity between our people. And it is patently wrong to allow such differences to erode confidence in our heritage and generate enmity and strife between our kith and kin. Our forefathers knew who they were and what they were doing when they forged a concrete, concrete alliance between Asante and Anlo during an era dominated by intense warfare. In the past century, 
both Asante and Alo collaborated on struggle through periods of change. Asante Mine dutifully created an Aloga division as an equal part of the traditional administration of Kumasi. Indeed, we have gone further to create a unique traditional system of governance which provides for every ethnic group to be represented by its own chief on an equal basis. How better can one reflect the depth of our respect for harmonious community relations? It is in this evolution that you see and experience the heart and soul of Asante and the essence of its commitments from Opimso Osetutu to this day. Asante does not go back on his word and does not renege on his commitments. Asante's strength has been built upon his fidelity to his word. So it's been, it has been over the centuries. So it is today. So it will be with the alliance entered into by my great, great uncles and the Anlo state. Tobiwa, Mamawa, we do not enter the political space as traditional leaders. But you will permit me today to cast our minds back to the election that ushered in Ghana's Second Republic. I do this most reluctantly, but with some personal feeling because of the need to clear some of the distortions that have festered and adversely affected our relations. There is no historian or political analyst who would deny that the odds were stuck against a favorite son of the Anlo state, Komla Abeli Bedema, when he formed the National Alliance of Liberals. Bedema was CPP. Even though he had fallen out with President Krumah and spent time in exile, his political base was that of the CPP. When President Krumah was overthrown, the CPP was proscribed and its members banned from the electoral process. Thus, apart from the area where he was heralded as a favorite son, in the rest of the country, the base from which he would draw his support had been removed. It was the political opposition to President Nkrumah which naturally benefited from the political process. Only politicians, not us traditional rulers, can understand and address the machinations at work then. What nobody can suggest on any evidence is that it had anything to do with Asante or any ethnic consideration for that matter. But Tobewa Mamago, now consider why this means so much to me personally. When Komla Abeli Bedema formed now, National Alliance of Liberals. Where did he find the man to be his right man as national chairman? The person he found to be his national chairman was no other than my own brother. Yes, my own brother, by my John Francis Kobna, son of the then reigning Asante Himan, Nana Mesuenyaku. John Kobna, a distinguished lawyer, knew he was placing his future traditional prospects at risk by opting for frontline politics at the time. But he believed so much in the leadership of Bedema, he was willing to make the supreme sacrifice. How could the son of the Asante man, at the very heart of Menshia, be out there as the right hand man of Afro Bedema? If indeed, there was an Asante conspiracy against him. And how does it feel for my own brother to make the sacrifice he made only to hear the distortions that have persisted to this day? Clearly, it is only fair and learn to separate the machinations which drive the conduct of individual politicians from the roots of their birth or their religious orientation. By the wisdom of our forefathers, the celebration of Hobechocho appropriately provides for a period of reflection and soul searching 
for the settlement and resolution of discord within families and among the people. Today, the Awo Mafia, chiefs Abogdwada and queens of Anosti can set a, be a beautiful example for our nation by extending the process of discord resolution beyond the limited family and traditional environment. You can help kickstart a process to purge ourselves of past contaminants of all types, flush out the sources of unwarranted discord, and encourage the growth of, of a healthier climate for public discourse and social and even political interaction. Our Mafia, Asantimai thanks you for remaining true to the ideals of, your, of our forefathers. We applaud the Tobiwa, Mamagawa and elders for the loyalty and good counsel which they have served their proud state. And we thank you again and again for your hospitality. As we prepare for brother to bid brother goodbye, I ask in the spirit of the moment to let the elegance of Phantom from and the energy of Abaza blend to the music of peace to the glory of one nation we proudly call Ghana. May we forever triumph together in the arms of great Ghana. Aza Lo. Abuana takana mane ya kesi na ntakra abuana die fanyina mkwatire kwa. Ndaoro mantume yefe ni ndi ndi sei. Ndi ndi wo ba ma. Akola wa no so, nese utimu usuma, ense bata. Se fanfa